With Mr. McKenna's learning, it's learning of a different kind. With Mr. McKenna's learning, I hope that you might find something new that you have never tried before. Just some stuff to stop your brain from getting bored. No! <laughs> yeah, I couldn't go back to savoury after that. Oh, you go, hello. A little challenge for you today. I like this because it's a simple one. And here's the truth of the matter. I've not tried it myself yet. I just saw it and thought, I like the idea of this. So all you need for this one is a bit of paper and some scissors. So hey, look, we're using scissors. Please take care of your scissors. If you're passing them to somebody else, put them on the floor first or the table and pick them up. Or if you're passing them, pass it so they can grab the handles. All right, be careful with scissors. Okay. Uh, I've cut these little pieces of A4 into half, just so I can do more goals. This is what you're going to do. With your piece of paper, fold it in half. All right. I am going to do, this is the challenge. We've got to cut shapes out of the paper whilst folded in half, so that when we open them back up, have we created the shape we wanted. So here's my first one. Challenge number one. Can I cut a circle? Here we go. I think I know what to do. Have a think what shape would I need to cut into this to make a circle. I'm going to have a go now. Should we bring the camera over the head? Let's bring the camera overhead. A semicircle. Does it have to be exactly right? But have I done it? Open up to find out. Yay! It's not bad. It's not bad. A circle. Now, for my next challenge, can I do... Easy on this. An oblong. All right. Fold my paper in half. What about an oblong? I'm going to go snip, snip. Cut all the way along. So, of course, for an oblong. There we go. Two long sides, two short sides. Done it. In the bag. Oblong. Next one. Can I do a plus sign, like an addition sign? Not tried this yet. Okay, so fold it in half. Then addition sign. Have a think. How would you do it? Ready? Snip. Snip. I had a moment of doubt there. I wasn't sure. So this is right, so I've cut out that shape. That's the shape I've cut out so that when I open up, yay! Am I doing all right? Full marks so far. Hey. Last one, I'm gonna do the letter X and then I'm gonna set you your challenge. Can you do the next ones? All right, the letter X. I think, what will I do? A little bit of thinking time. So great, what this is really is lines of symmetry. We're having to think in symmetry, okay, which I like, symmetrical things. Here we go, the letter X. I've cut out that. So everything you do, of course, needs to be half of that thing. There's my little secret to it. An X. Hooray! Well, I quite enjoyed that challenge. Now to set you one, okay? So right here next to me now, I shall provide you with a list of you to, for you to go off and try and achieve yourself. You can copy the same as me, but then can you do these on your own? I'm talking about number one, a square. Number two, tricky this, triangle. Sounds easy, could be a challenge. Triangle. The letter H, the letter M, and finally, a person, the shape of a person. Can you do that from a folded piece of paper? All right, I'll leave you with that. In fact, I won't, I'll leave you with something else. I'll leave you with this question. Is there any shape you cannot cut out of a folded piece of paper? Ooh, mystery finish. Ooh, take care of yourselves and each other, bye.